Hi everyone. Sorry we're late. Well, we weren't late. We were just technically somewhere else <laughs> because I didn't hit the right buttons. We were electronically misplaced. <laughs> it is a full moon tonight, I think, so that's that probably didn't help. And um, I have um, stuffed up. I did say what could go what could go wrong will go wrong. Murphy's law. So. Um, Welcome to Connecting with Clarity and Co. Yeah. I'm Clarity. This is Miss Clarity right here. <laughs> and that's Co. <laughs> that's me, the nameless one. The, <laughs> no, this is Marty. And he is um, a blacksmith by trade now, but he was a paranormal consultant. But I don't think you ever actually resigned from that type of... Um, I was an investigator, now I'm a consultant. Oh, sorry. Didn't get that right. Mm -hmm. So Marty came over earlier tonight so we could talk about the show and um, turns out that one of my cows was having trouble calving and we've ended up being down the paddock. Hi everyone coming in and um, thanks for joining us. So <laughs> we've been out and we're still covering cow hair and um, baby goop and all sorts of stuff. Um, <laughs> cow was, uh, poor cow, Miss Dixie was in trouble. So we had to um, intervene, and um, Miss Dixie now has uh, a Miss Trixie because we felt like it was October and it was trick and treat month. So yeah. Dixie's the mum, so Trixie's the bub. And so. she was tricking us when she came out because when we got there, we thought she was dead. We did, but, actually. Um, yeah. With Michelle's guidance or Miss Clarity's guidance and uh, my great big and off hands, <laughs> we managed to pull a beautiful little baby calf out. Big strong forearms, thank God. <laughs> so, so I told you it's handy to have a blacksmith around at times. <laughs> yeah. It's handy to have a paranormal uh, consultant around too, actually. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. It's nice to know I'm useful. Yeah. So yeah, we are giving away a 30 minute reading tonight and we are going to try and do some readings. And um, although I must say we're a bit, we're a bit in a bit of a schmozzle. Uh, we haven't organised ourselves properly. <laughs> because of um, events and uh, we're hoping that everything goes to plan which it just didn't because I, w I had we went live and here we are talking and and we were on someone else's page so that or a different group or something that was handy so uh, that there you go so it really is Murphy's Law tonight and full moon mayhem so uh, that doesn't surprise me it's uh, lucky you're on live. Oh, yes, that's not good. Bad uh, luck with the cars are not good. Somebody uh, uh, asked how the calf was. And last time we saw it, it was just about to have a drink off its mother. Yes, so we're going back down after the show. Uh, we need to put her in a safe paddock because she decided to carve in the middle of the bush somewhere, yeah. which is not, um, not convenient because there's... Um, a very steep embankment close by, so we've had to try and move her. Yeah. Well, we didn't try to move her, we actually did. Well, we did. It was hairy, but we did. Oh, your comments are coming in so fast, I can't keep up with them. I'm sorry. Um, we will try. So um, I will try and give as many people clarity um, as we can. Wendy would love a holiday alone. <laughs> 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 I can imagine. I can imagine that, Wendy. Um, I wouldn't mind a holiday either. I've been swinging a hammer all day. I've been on the go since six a.m. <laughs> <laughs> you have actually. Actually, um, before we get started, show us what you've been making because no, you want to see what I've been making. Yes. No. Show us what you've made today. Here's a little something that I've I whipped up earlier on. That there's a handmade brass rose. All uh, rippled petals and everything like that. And I thought, when your cards come out, mm -hmm. that um, I might donate a brass or an iron rose for you to use as a giveaway. Then people, if they go and uh, buy a deck of your coffee cards, would go in the draw for a giveaway rose. What do you think about that, Miss Clarity? Um, actually, I think that's amazing. That's an amazing gift. 
And that's very generous of you. Oh, look, that's fine. You gave me an amazing gift tonight. Oh. I actually got to help give birth to a, a little baby. <laughs> you gave birth. I had to help. <laughs> I haven't pulled a calf out for 30 years. Oh. And okay. it was absolutely beautiful to see this little one being born. And I happen to quite like Dixie Cow. She's a very nice little cow. So, so this it was is my pleasure to do that. A handmade um, brass rose. Brass rose by you. Absolutely beautiful. We um in the shop I think um Marty calls these the eternal rose. That's right. It's okay, so they never die. Absolutely gorgeous. So yes, that will be down the track. So hopefully hey. we'll be doing that before Christmas. Uh, when the cards are launched and um, that we'll we'll bring that up um, as we as we go. Do you want to put that in in the camera there? Well yeah we can do that if you want. Yeah we can be the thorns each side of the rose. <laughs> How's that? It's not quite um so you're gonna quite be the, the rose it's gonna be the rose between two thorns. Yeah that's it. <laughs> I knew I had now, a I knew bit I had higher that. to block my face out, and we're going to be right. <laughs> yeah, well, mm. That's the one. That's the best looking I've been all day. <laughs> as long as we've got room for the runes and the cards. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, I guess because we're so just everything's gone wrong tonight, um, we might just get straight into drawing some cards and runes for people. Are we going to draw a, a card for the week? Oh, yes, yeah, okay, let's do that. I did come over to try and help you get this, the show organised. We did get <laughs> sidetracked. I can easily get sidetracked. I easily get sidetracked. Okay. So do I. So, full moon tonight. It's actually the 13th today, but it is a new week starting tomorrow. So, um, that's good. 13 is my lucky number. Yep. It's obviously lucky for um, Trixie, too. <laughs> So you draw a room for the week, and right. I will draw a card for the week. Okay. And then we'll get into some readings. I was going to talk about that strange thing we had happen, but that might have to wait. Oh, I think so. Okay. So this is for the week coming ahead. So would you like to start off? You got to always be polite. Ladies first. Um, this next week is about keeping balance. Um, so it's uh, <coughs> it's got a set of scales here. I'll actually uh, put that there. Okay. Oh, sorry about the lighting again. And I did bring a light in, and then I've unplugged it somehow, and I decided just to go without it because we were too late anyway. So what this is saying to me is that we are coming up to the end of the year. We're in, in the middle of October nearly and we're coming up to Christmas. The, the year's nearly ending and it's talking about paying off debts and, um, you know, having that balance of money coming in and going out. So obviously we all know that we're coming up to the silly season and it would be wise at this time um, to make sure that you – Stay balanced and keep keep things a little under. Don't go silly. Um, watch how you're spending your money and your time and your effort this week. And set yourself up. Now is the time to set yourself up for um, a decent silly season, I think. Yep. Yep. And what have you pulled out? Well, the very nice pulled out. The uh, message for people for the week is radio. And... Uh, that's basic meaning is communication and journey. So I'd like you all to remember that as you are on your journey through life this week, if you have a problem, communicate. Mm, that's a good okay, thing. Talk to people, sort yep. it out, yep. and see what you can organise just by simple communication. Okay. That's a good one. So if you need help, please ask. Don't um, just do it alone. Ask. As I said, we are coming up to the silly season and things are starting to really um, pick up speed. And, and, and not during October, of course, it's, it's Halloween season, of course, 
and that doesn't help either. The vowels are thin, so um, lots of um, silly thoughts can enter your head. So make sure you are staying in contact with friends and family at this time of year. Very, very important. All right, so how are we going to do this? Because we have got so many um, comments already. And um, so obviously Marty Pook is a rune reader. He's very good at it. And um, right. Let's see if we can find. Well, there's a lady there. I kept seeing messages pop up. It's okay. um, really worried about her car. So let's see who that is. Okay, I saw that. She seems to be a little bit distraught. So let's see if we can give her some guidance, shall okay, we? Okay, let's see if we can do that. So is that this one here? Um, yeah, bad vibes. Can you understand that? Um, no, can you tell there's something about accident? She's got it fixed, still bad vibes. It's a Toyota, oh, I don't know what that is. No, me neither. I'm a little bit far back and even with your glasses on, I'm having trouble. Yep. No, I've got it from Facebook. And... All right, do you want to draw a rune on that and then we'll discuss that? Well, let's see what's going on and see what the rune is about yep. your car. Yep. Uh, it's a 20 year old car, so the 20 year old cars you've got to understand. I've done a little bit of work, having grown up around cars and things like that. You've got to understand that things wear out. So it really pays to have regular services done on your car. I have mine done every 5,000. Um, just to keep everything right, because things can go wrong. and. As Miss Clarity and I have found tonight, we've had a bit of a Murphy night. Whatever can go wrong, will go wrong. <laughs> right, so. I could start on this one if you want to. Be. I think you should, yeah. All right. My, um, I put some cards here on your car. And as far as I'm, the cards are saying and what I'm sensing from this is that it's time to retire the car. Um, it's, it's had a good long life. And it's done a lot of work, and it's now time to um, release it and let it go. So that could be di could be difficult. Um, and I know that you know maybe that's not great financially, but by keeping the car, you're only going to stay in this um, cycle of expecting the worst, and you, you're kind of in a self fulfilling prophecy because you've got no trust in the car, and that's pretty much not what a good thing. the runes are saying at the moment that you feel like the car is unlucky, you're expecting something unexpected to happen. Uh, they're also telling me that you don't love the car, you don't like spending money on it, you don't like doing things on it. And um, yeah, no, it's. So she's saying it's low kilometres, but it's the vibes in it. Um, still, yeah. low kilometres, um, if it's 20 year old. 1999. That's a 20 year old car, isn't it? Like, like, look, I've got a, it's like a Hilux that's about 450,000 kilometres or something. So it's fine. But it's not about you, that, it's about, you know, the feeling that the there car. is bad vibes with the car, mm. then, um, then you know, might be a sign to do something about it and maybe upgrade to something a little bit nicer. Well, it's not just that, it's the fact that she's got no trust in the car. So, you know, if it's got low kilometres on it, it's still obviously worth money to somebody else. And um, because of your fear and feelings around it, it is, it is actually time to let it go and um, perhaps get something else. Because um, you feel like it's, it's, it's done some terrible things or it has bad vibes and that type of thing. This is sort of like a, a like attracts like situation. You know, so you're feeling negative about it, you feel it's not the greatest thing, so you know, by having those negative feelings you could actually attract negative things. 
to happen. Mm. The, the whole problem with this situation is that you have no faith in the car for some reason. And um, energetically, that's what you're attracting. So um, I would, if I was you, I would move that along and find something else um, that you feel that is energetically um, in tune with, with, with who you are because there's something about that that's, that's not... Um, I would think so. Yeah, okay. That's a big word to come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would concur. Seeing as you have my antlers again tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Oh, I have to see on there. So tall. <laughs> All right, so there... Who else? Let me see. What can I find here? Um... Okay, so many messages, guys. Um, a bit hard to keep up with everybody, but bear with us. We're going to do our best to find the right thing. Yep. Things out for you. Um, All right, Jesse Newman has said, is there anything for her, please? Oh, yeah, I'm just reaching for my little bag of tricks and see what we can find for you, Jesse. I say Jesse Newman. Okay. I guess I'll just drop that ring back in there accidentally. Where is it? <laughs> it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> regroup, regroup. <laughs> I'll regroup and I'll feel around and I'll see what I can grab. Okay, so. Okay, so Still just think, Jessie Newman, a card for her. Okay, I'm going to have it here. Oh. Whoops, and I have one that's flipped out, and it's flipped out twice. It flipped out before when I put it back because I wasn't concentrating properly, or I wasn't tuning in properly, and it's come out again. So, would you like to start this time, or shall I? Uh, I think I started last time. Okay. Hmm. All right, well, Jersey, uh, what I pulled out for you here is Berkhama. Now, this room signifies new beginnings. Maybe there is uh, something new coming up in your life, a new business venture, maybe a new friend that you're going to meet, or something new has just popped up. Um, but yeah, if it hasn't, it also signifies that you know, it's time to do a little bit of house cleaning, so to speak. So if something is bothering you, well then it might be time to be out with the old and then with the new because you have the root of new beginnings there that's been drawn for you. So there is new beginnings coming to you in uh, some way, shape or form in your life. And what have you got, Miss Clarity? Um, well, actually the Justice card came out. Um, for Jesse, so I don't know if you can see that. Oh, look at that! I've got half a face. Um. <laughs> now you have no face. <laughs> so, yes, it's a beautiful angel there holding the scales of justice between two pillars. And um, but this card talks about fair and just decisions, and you're talking about new beginnings. Mm. Um, what this card says is, do what you know is right. Like stand in your truth, stand in your integrity and stand up for your beliefs. So if that's leading on to a new beginning, then that's where it's going to lead to. Um, but this one said, this card says, um, do what you know is right and, and stand in your truth and in your integrity. Okay? Sounds good to me. I hope that resonates or helps with whatever's going on. Okay. Um, all right. I'm just going to scroll back through some messages on my phone. Um, Wendy, Joy Clark. I don't know if you're, are you still on, Wendy? She was on. So she said she'd like to live by herself. 
Wendy well, also said she'd like a rose to give to her brother who was a Vietnam vet, I think it was. Yeah. A relative who was a Vietnam vet. And Wendy, we actually have a rose that we make that uh, supports the veterans. We call it the Veterans Rose. It's a rusty rose. And, um, you know, if you win the draw, well, I think then we should just make it a rusty rose for you to win. Well, you could, cho you could choose. They could choose. You, you can choose. That's right. You could make it a choice of the brass rose, the rusty rose. And, and there's iron roses of all different types. Yeah. So that's just one of the roses. I love the iron roses. Mm. Beautiful. All right. Um, so. We're drawing one for Wendy, are we? Yep. Yeah. Drawing one for Wendy. All right, Wendy. Let's see what we got for you. Hello, everybody tuning in. Sorry if you missed the beginning of the show. We were a bit disorganised. Yeah, we just had a baby calf here. A baby calf that was giving mum a trouble. Wendy. We have Dom and Taylor's for you. And that room signifies strength. So what that says to me is you're having a few things going on in your life and to deal with them you need to be strong. If they're bringing you down, don't let them bring you down. Remember, Wendy, that you're a beautiful person. Be strong. You can do this. You can cope with this. Well, I have got um, the King of Water came out, which is King of Cups, and that suggests to me that you're, um, sorry, you can't see that very well. You're emotionally not doing so great. You're um, very emotional right now. You're very deep in the water. Um, there's lots of stuff flying past you, and that... Um, <coughs> You need to come to the surface. Yeah, you need to come to the surface. You need to breathe some oxygen, and you need to um, take some big, deep breaths, and really look at uh, what has put you so deep down into that murky emotional waters. And yeah, come to the surface. Come to the surface and ask for help. Get some oxygen. Sounds good. Mm. Okay. So, now if anyone wants to know more or they want a proper reading, then you need to go to my page, Connecting with Clarity. It's just a Facebook page. Um, I'm, I probably should have put it, that in a tag somewhere. I'm not quite sure how. But, um, Connecting with Clarity, it's not that hard to find. Um, that's where I do the coffee, coffee oracle readings every morning. And you can join in on that. They're lots of fun. <coughs> and um, there's also, you can book through that page um, for, for a reading to get some clarity on any subject that you want. Yeah. Trish here has um, just come up with a couple of interesting statements. Uh, um, she thinks that uh, someone's had bad vibes and the cow's had bad vibes from years past and she can't sell it without a blessing. Therese, um, I don't know if you're a uh, pagan or Christian or you know what your belief is, but um, if you are a Christian, there's no reason why you can't go to the church, speak to the minister, ask to have some holy water. I sprinkle a little bit around there in the car with a prayer for a blessing. You can smudge the car. Smudging the car will raise the positive vibrations in the area around the car, but it's not so much of a, a blessing. Um, if you are of another belief, then um, you know, I happen to know that there are Wiccan ceremonies where you can actually get some salt, you can get some distilled water, and you can actually bless that and make that holy water yourself and use that to bless the car. 
Yeah, she said it needs blessing before she sells it. And that's a great idea. And that, that shows that you, you have, have a lot of personal integrity there. And that's right. You know, that's a wonderful thing to have. Yep. Um, but I know, look, I know from personal experience, once you lose faith in a car, um, it's very hard to get it back again. And you seem to latch onto every noise or every incident that happens. And um, you never quite have get that faith or trust back in it again. That's right. Yeah. 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 That's that's been my experience with um, things like that. So um, I carry a huge lump of tourmaline in my car, and um, gosh, it is like it's it's every it's even bigger than this piece of uh, rose quartz. So I carry a huge lump of that tourmaline in my car to keep me protected. In the car protected from anything nasty out there. I actually have a little bag of crystals, a uh, small crystal wand in my car as well. Yeah. As you, you found once in the glove box, I think, a while ago. And you asked me what it was. <laughs> I probably did. <laughs> What's that doing in there? <laughs> Someone else has washed it with holy water. But, um, yeah, there's, there's a few things you can do. Um, but um, definitely, I think, move it on um, if you can, if that's possible, because you've lost faith in it, and that's, energetically, that's, you know, that's not going to help either. Okay. Now, I did have someone here um, that we were going to... And I've lost my train of thought. All right, we will go with um, Yasmin. Yasmin Grace Diamond, if she's still there. She would like um, something drawn for her, please. Yep. All yep. right, let's have a look at Yasmin. And then we might go to Sarah Wright, because that was... That was who I was going to go to next, but I lost her. <laughs> I lost her in the comments. Ah, let's have a look here. Keep repositioning myself so my horns are in the right position. My horns. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have a look at what we got for you, Asma. <clears throat> This rune here is the O rune in the runic alphabet. And it's a sun that signifies Odin. <coughs> <coughs> now what this rune is telling me at the moment by the position and the way that I draw it, that you're feeling a little spiritually drained at the moment. Uh, I'm not quite sure what it is that's got you a little bit drained, but something you're having a little bit of trouble with. Um, now, I'm just going to draw another room, just quickly, if you don't mind, and see what we can do about this to help you, isn't it? Um, it seems that this is ISA, the ice room. This room is uh, you're a little bit stuck somewhere. Um, things aren't moving forward for you, they're not moving backwards, you're in a state of stasis at the moment. Well, we've got Claire from and Barcelona here. Sorry, I didn't mean to drop. <laughs> I'd say that would be what's uh, draining you spiritually. The fact that you're stuck in a little bit of stasis and you know, you're not quite sure which way to move. But I've just drawn one more room for you. And yeah, here we go. This is the P rune. This rune signifies hope. So, there's hope for you. There is. You need to have a positive mindset. You need to believe that there's a way out of things for you. And things are going to start moving forward in a positive direction. Miss Lodi? Well... This card here is 
come out, which is sign of Earth. So we have a beautiful angel there in the garden. So looking at what you've got there, this suggests to me that Yasmin's not looking at her blessings right now, um, that you need to um, change your self-talk and um, change the way your, your perception on, on what you're looking at because your life could, could be very good and um, full of blessings um, if you could just maybe be still for a little while and just have a real look around you and be grateful for um, the small blessings even in your life and that will change the way um, that you connect and your energy um, with Go on. Yeah, no. you, you've just reminded me of something that we spoke about last um, week on the show yep. and that was the five words that you want to catch yourself saying and then change those words to an actual doing word. <coughs> um, oh no, we're not doing that again. Yeah, well, <laughs> yes, we are. There's, there's a lot of people who probably never saw it. <laughs> All right, so. No. Okay, let's do it. We've got these five words. I'm going to explain it probably a little bit better this time. And those five words are want, wish, need hope and try. Now, as I said last week, these words will help your subconscious mind accept finally. So I'm just going to ask Miss Clarity here. All right. I want you to hope that you can take this pen out of my hand. Okay. I'm hoping. Okay. So you're getting that feeling of hoping and that's a good thing. But Nothing's happening. No, because I'm just hoping. Right. So I want you to want this pen to take, or well, well, want to take this pen out of my hand. With no action, just want to take it. Oh, I really want to. <laughs> <laughs> I have no doubt you do. Yeah. But wanting to take it is still an inactive um, mindset. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Wish you can take this pen from my hand. I've already wished. All right. You've wished, you've wanted, and you've hoped. Mm. All right. So need to take it. I need to take it. Yeah. So are you feeling the need to take the pen? I have because it's, it's in my face. <laughs> right. So it's annoying. But what's happened? Nothing. The pen's still in my hand. Right. Now try to take it. Try. Try to take it. You want me to actually try? I want you to actually try you to take the pen. You know that's going to end badly. Right, what happened? I took it. Right. Now, try to take it again. Ah! What happened? I can't take it. Right. So, the only one there that actually means anything and has any value is to either do something or to not do something. So, if you catch yourself hoping for something or wishing for something or needing something, be positive. Will it to happen? Okay. okay. Yeah. And work on it. Willing something to happen and being positive and working towards it will actually get you the, the desired results that you want. Okay. Yep. So back to you, Miss Clarity. I hope that means something, Yasmin. Whether she's still there. Um, Sarah. We're going with next, Sarah. Sarah. I've lost it again. I think it's Sarah Watkins. Um, before we do that, I just want to answer. Is it Sarah Wright? Oh, Sarah Wright. Sorry, Sarah. It is Sarah Wright. I should there have wrote. There I got it right. Okay. <laughs> and I was warm. Oh, I'm poor, sick joke. I'm warm. You're what? Um, just want to add a tray. Teresa on the the car. Um, if you want someone to actually tune into that car, that that's something that really really can't be done with on a show like this and all these people and yeah, to do actually do it properly. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you do need someone to probably just, you know, do that for you. Um, it's like um, look, 
this week just gone by. Short story before we get on to Sarah. Sorry, Sarah. Um, we did a show on Tuesday night. Things were, things were not flowing. The messages weren't flowing. And um, we, could, we couldn't work out why. It was just dead. And um, then so we, we finished the show. You were just touched? I was just touched on the back of the head. <laughs> Not again. Yep. Actually, as I was talking about that, I just saw someone flash up behind us. Anyway, on Tuesday night, things were not going great. And then we finished the show and um, two friends messaged me and said there was someone standing behind me. And I went, oh, okay. Then maybe that explains why, um, you know, we couldn't get through. And then someone else messaged about someone who had passed over recently. And then it kind of all started to fall into place. And so we went into kind of emergency mode and started to try and tune in. Are they still touching you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 oh, I'm sure that, um, uh, they'll reveal who it is. Um, not often, actually, that something like this happens to me, and you know, being a paranormal investigator, I, I tend to uh, try and find a logical reason for everything first. But of course, you do. Moment, um, yeah, but someone's got a, a bit of a message. Okay. They have. All right. And, um, oh, yeah. Well, has this got to do with Sarah, or is it somebody else? I have no idea. Okay. Here we go um, again, and actually we we don't come on here to do medium work. This is this is the second time that this has happened. Okay, so someone's recently passed away. Well, actually, there was a message earlier. And Sarah, hold on, we will sorry, we Sarah. will get to you, Sarah Watkins. It was um, an unexpected passing. We want to make sure that we're tuned right. into properly. So someone's recently passed away unexpectedly. Um, now, at the moment, whoever it is, they're sending love. All right? Um, and what have we got here? What have we got here? Okay, so we're drawing gift through the room of gifts. And, okay. So there's been a bit of trouble. There's been a little bit of hail and strife. Um, I think that we'll find, yes, that's right, they are apologising for the trouble that they've caused. So I don't know if this means anything to anybody here. Um, but, I uh, did see a message earlier that someone had had someone pass away, but I didn't get to read it pro properly. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just looking for it now. So we, all, we got so caught up in the car thing that uh, I can't find it now. Well, they just want you to know that they found peace. You're still touching me. Oh. Oh. Ah, Perla. Right on the head. Perla's brother passed away. Perla's um, brother. Okay. Yeah, recently I think Perla, is that right? I, I, I can't find the message again. I'm sorry there's so many messages, but... um. And this happened to us on Tuesday. It's the very same thing. And it's amazing that spirit know that you're going to tune into something like this and then they appear. Do you know what I'm going to do next week? I'm actually <laughs> going to bring a K2 move to some of my ghost hunting equipment. And uh, if something like that, this happens next week, because this is not the way that we plan the show to go. All right. Um, we plan to do a few readings. Have a bit of fun, you know, a bit of joviality, a bit of lightheartedness, help people out. Um, did not expect for things to go this way, but obviously the spirit world has other ideas. Yeah, and they know that, you, that you're yeah. going to tune in and then all of a sudden they're here and it's totally unexpected for us. Um, it's not something that we, we actually go out there to do, to do on an everyday basis. I know there are mediums out there that do. Okay, so we just had a confirmation from the rooms that it was a male. Yeah. All right. Um, 
touch. Is it's something to do with a, a, a money or a victory or something like that. Um, I think it would probably be more money. He's, he's at peace um, at the moment anyway. Uh, there is a message for you. And uh, sending you love and giving you strength. Uh, like I said, there's apologies for causing uh, strife and ill feelings. I'm still young, I'm still touching you. And Alice, can you see what you can do? Um, Me? See what I can do? Yeah, see what, you, oh, what your okay. cards say. Um, listen, I'm, I'm still being touched right on the head. Okay, alright, I'm just going to ask. Um... Right. Okay. I just need to know if this is Pearl's brother that's actually touching you right now. And that's a confirmation of a yes. Oh. Um, for those of you who can't see, Miss Clarity has a, a dowsing crystal that she's just swinging at the moment. Okay. Uh. Um, he said there's nothing he actually wants to really um, pass on. It's, he just wanted Pearl to know that he's okay. Now I'm feeling it like he's holding my face like this at the moment. I am. Yeah, I don't know if he had a habit of walking up to you and his hands on your face like this, just gently, or up here like this. Or, but um, that's kind of what I'm feeling and how, how I'm being touched at the moment. Uh, yeah. Does that mean anything to you? Yeah. I'm getting a confirmation that, that, that there is a link. Yeah, he, uh, lots of love there for you, Perla. Lots of love yeah. coming through. So uh, I think he's saying, don't worry. Don't worry. Because I think he pulled out that he's at peace. Now, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's at peace. Um, yeah. And then, uh, maybe one session we should actually cover, you know, what, what the. Your understanding is with when you pass over and what we go through, <laughs> and that sort of thing. Bella says he's thanking you. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's that's nice. <laughs> but that that was a characteristic uh, characteristic of him, was it, Bella? <laughs> it must have been. It definitely was him. So there you go. So, yes. Um, nothing worse than losing somebody, Bella, and. Um, so fantastic that he could drop in tonight and yeah yeah i said this is not the way we wanted the show to go but if we can help people out well then we definitely want to help i'm all for it I, i'm not the most sensitive person as i said i'm a blacksmith i'm as sensitive as a house brick um and that's about how politically correct i am i'm the same politically correct as a house brick but i do have some gifts and um when I have a feeling like that, it's overwhelming. I can't help but act on. No, we actually you're very you're very good at it. When that comes up, as I said, we were we were um, driven into action last week for somebody else, and um, that person did need to be crossed over, and um, and that did happen. So we were very grateful um, that that happened, and you know I was just like blown away that they know that. That you're going to be here and then they turn up so it's amazing so oh, you had a beard like mine <laughs> oh <laughs> you're welcome Pella. i'm glad that we could um, do something for you i'm pretty relaxed again now okay. I, i'm sorry I, I sort of jumped into that um i can't do this like consciously and hey look you know I'm, I must say you had a or had a really nice like energy. That, you had a really nice energy, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's funny because just before you said that, I looked up into the screen and I could see a flash. <laughs> like a, and he's and he's got a very bright, um, very he had a very bright energy. It, it wasn't um a shadow or anything like that. It was a, a bright light around him. So that's that's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, all right, now Sarah, poor Sarah, we've got to do a card for Sarah, so in a room. 
Okay. What's all he do for his juice, Sarah? still pretty distraught about the, the the car, and apparently the sound's a little bit low. She's having trouble hearing us. Ah, oh, that's probably because we've got a big rose in front of the microphone. Well, that'll do it. <laughs> we'll swap that around. Everything's rosy on this side. <laughs> Is that better? What a horrible pun. <laughs> Hang on. I just turned that up. Is that better? Hopefully that's better. That's Sorry. Volume. I did say what could go wrong would go wrong. Yes, it's definitely a Murphy night tonight. All right. But look, it's not. We've just been blessed with somebody that's come in and, you know, wanted his sister to know that he's okay. Yeah, beautiful. And I've just got touched on the head again as I said that. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's nice. Okay, Sarah. <coughs> We have drawn, drawn the male rune. This is the rune of male energy. All right, so that signifies something. Normally we're in sync with this. Yeah. We're not in sync with it at the moment? Um, I am struggling tonight, I must admit. Maybe because I'm a bit scattered with everything that's been going on. Um, Page of Air is the card that came out, Sarah. And so, what did you say that was the female, the, the male, the male room. room? Yeah. All right. So, um, this card does talk about a young male energy, and this this person is quite impulsive um, and curious, delivers information without tact. So. Yeah, we're gonna have to wind up a little bit soon. Oh no, we came on late, so and I don't think there's anyone after us, so let's run on for another ten minutes. We'll be fine. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so I don't know if you're still there, Sarah. Um, so I don't know if this pertains to someone around you. Um, whoever it is, they're vibrant. They have a lot of male energy. Well, they have a lot of energy. Um, they're uh, very yeah. intelligent and what's There's that? There's an in room. And I can't a, see that. A bit of a doer. Yeah, always on the move. Yep. Um, always on the move. So I might just pull another card on that. Whee! Pull another card? It just, oh, they just flew out of the deck. Yeah. So There's something new coming up for you, Sarah. Um, it says grab onto it and change your life now. It also says that some organisation and logic and structure um, would would do. It'll get you to where you need to go as well. Um, without actually. Yep, yes, still, still here. Out. Sorry, I don't know if you heard that um, about Marty's pulled the runes out. The, there's a male energy yep. and the doing energy. So we don't know if that relates to anything that's going on with you right now. Because everything seems to be higgledy piggledy tonight. Oh, well, it's been one of those nights. And very shortly, we're going to have to go and switch off because we're pretty much at the end of our time. And we've got a little baby calf to go and check out. Mm. But we will go over time because we did arrive late because of I ended up on the wrong page. <laughs> we ended up talking to no one. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I do that all the time. I talk to myself all the time too. You know what? It's great. I meet the nicest people that way. Yes, that's true. Yeah, but it's really weird though when I tell myself a joke and I've never heard it before. What? It is. It's really weird. I tell myself a joke. If I've never heard it before, it's just like, wow, you know, that just freaked me out. Oh, this is <laughs> pulling my chain now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you really are. Well, people ask me at work, what do I do when I'm not bike spinning? Well, it's easy. You know, I take the mickey out of the customers. <laughs> it's fun. Mm. Look, I think 
pass me one of those big cards over there because nothing here is working. One of these ones? Yep. Alright, now just quickly, um, Therese has asked if there's anything else for her. And while you were doing that, I just quickly pulled another room. Um, Hagleys. That signifies a little bit of hail, a little bit of strife. So uh, definitely telling me that um, I think it's time to move the car on um, and find something new with more positive vibrations. Oh, that didn't come through. Um, Sarah is starting a new job and she's working with children. So those cards were right. And here I am thinking that they're not. So. <laughs> Young energies around Sarah, and um, yes, logic and structure is the way to go, and um, you can you can do it. So yeah, um, it's there is new job, career advancement, and you know what children are like. That's what that card was coming out. They deliver information without tact whatsoever. So yeah, um, but you you can do it. It's going to be challenging for you, but. Um, it's all going to be okay. And I pulled out this one of these cards for you because you've been waiting so long. Um, and this yourself. one's the Tree of Life. So remember, there's there's a balance to everything. You know, what's what's above as is above, is below. As above, so below. So below, yeah. So what you're seeing on top, or of you know, with these kids, you got to think about what's going on below. Okay, because there's a cause and effect there with them. So when you see something happening, just think back to, okay, what's going on underneath, like the iceberg, what's what's underneath that behaviour? And um, and you'll do well. You, you've got this. You'll be fine. Yeah. As I said, challenging, but you've got this. Okay, so that made sense. Thank you for clarifying that for me. Now I'm getting some clarity. Ha, ha. Um, okay. What would you like to do? We'll do a couple more because we were late. We were very All late. Right. Now, Teresa's just telling us that uh, she's going to get rid of the car as soon as she fixes it again and blesses it. Yeah, good move, Teresa. I think that's a great idea. Um, All right. Let's do um, a couple more. Cash James. Oh, and then we've got to pull, before we go, we've got to pull a winner of, this, of the 30 minute rating. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Who's going to do that, you or me? Um, we'll decide when we get to it. <laughs> I think I chose last time, didn't I? Hey? I think I chose randomly last time, didn't I? Did you? I possibly could have. So this is for Cash James. Cash James. <clears throat> we have a ruse, the room of life, the U room. And it come out upright, which is a symbol of good luck. <clears throat> oh well, yeah, look at you, Drew. <laughs> we are in sync tonight, by the look of things. Okay. So I can see if you can see that cash with the bad lighting, but that says divine consciousness. And it means you need to tap into that divine consciousness. Uh, be still, you know, you, you've got the power there to actually do that. So, so believe in yourself. Hmm. So the other room I've just drawn out beside it, uh, Dago's <coughs> just here, room of destiny. So, uh, Cash, I want you to believe in yourself. Um, yeah. It appears to me that you are following the right path. Um, sometimes you probably get off the beaten track a little bit, but in general, you're actually following a good path for your learning experience here. <coughs> Just remember, folks, I mean, we are human beings on, well, we actually are spirits on a human holiday. So, uh, <coughs> I'm a little bit hoarse. I've been breathing coal dust and smoke all day. Please excuse me. That's all right. Um, yeah, so divine consciousness, release all harsh judgments. 
just not on every, about everyone else, about yourself. Um, forgiveness is is a, the key to actually connecting through the divine consciousness. And that's available to you right now. That that card's coming in and it's as strong as so you can tap through to that divine consciousness. So that's the one that comes down through the crown of the head. We can connect. So remember when you're doing that, you need to ground, ground, grow roots. So stretch down to the core of the earth and ground, but all, and then reach up to the heavens, and you'll make that connection, and that information will channel through. What you need to know will come through to you in that way. You don't need anybody else to tell you what to do. You just need to channel that information for yourself because you have that gift. Yeah. Yep. Um, so now we have Marx telling us to pick Tracy, please. Why oh, is Tracy? <laughs> so what do we pick Tracy for? Do we pick Tracy to draw a room quickly for her? I don't see Tracy on here. Yes, we we do. Tracy Haver. I am still here, she says. I'm right here. Sorry, I'm scrolling back up through because we just couldn't keep up with some the amount of messages. Okay, what help can you give me? All right, let's go with that. Okay, well, we're going to pick somebody for the reading. Yeah, we'll do free Tracy. Thirty minute reading. We'll do Tracy first, and then we'll pick someone for the free thirty minute reading. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> Ladies first. <clears throat> or shall I go first so it's H before beauty? <laughs> you sure about that? Oh, yeah, I'm, I've <laughs> got to be older than you. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure about that. <laughs> well, that's another beautiful card that's come out. That's about source energy. Um. And that's standing in your power because of all that the um the yellow in that card, which is to do with the solar plexus and all the beautiful angels and all that um energy raining down on you. So that's suggesting to me that um, you've got lots of people, lots of angels actually, guardian angels or um looking out for you right now which means you're probably not feeling so um powerful no well definitely not well, we have uh drawn the moon of need yeah uh, so you're feeling that you need a little bit of guidance at the moment um and i think this clarity's card has given you the message that uh, your guides are there and they want to guide you but you uh, might need to open up a little bit. So see what they do. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just draw another room for you, uh, Tracy. Yeah. And what is the course question? Karma, which is also a protection room. So after. Like I just said about your guides being there for you, and uh, yeah, you might need to open up a little bit and you know try and perceive the message they're giving you. That's just told me that uh, I'm on the right track. You're on the right track. Well, yeah, so so that so you're on the right track. You so just touching me now. Well, I've got a um. Well, with the source card. It's a shiny thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was you all along. <laughs> no, it wasn't me, sorry. No, it's all right. Um, with the source card, I got out, came out, the world card came out, and it, that's about a job well done and the completion of things. So, um, again, there's a lot of yellow there. So, something going on. Um, in your power center, your solar plexus there, um, but you you are on a path to enlightenment. So perhaps you're just feeling a little impatient about that, no. as we do all do. Sometimes we think that things aren't right, but they actually are right. 
we actually have a bit of a madman a mad American on here. It's just said good day to us. That's the um, New York blacksmith. The New York blacksmith, Larry Hagberg. Larry Hagberg is the one who actually got me to start making my roses like this. So thank you, Larry. All right. So, hi, Larry. Back to Tracy. She definitely uh, needs to get some confidence. Um, she's feeling quite defeated. Um, she needs to get her joy and expression back. So, um, again, that's working on that solar plexus chakra and um, getting some passion back for for life or whatever it is that's got you down. Um, so you're coming to the end of that though, Tracy, so things are starting to look up. Um, again, that's all in about the way you perceive things. Yep. Um, and just being grateful for for the little things. Make a list of what you actually like about yourself. You might surprise yourself just, you know, how much or how good you actually are or how talented you actually are. Yeah, just try to be positive and look for the good things in everyone, including yourself. Yeah. So I hope that helps. Um, well, I hope that is a shortness clarity. And seeing as uh, time has run out and we have a little baby calf to go and check on, well, I think we should go and uh, have a look around and pick somebody for a 30 minute reading. So, what I'm going to ask you to do, we're going to do things a little bit different this week. Yep. I've got my little bag of homemade rooms here. I'm going to get Miss Clarity to pick a room. Yep. And that room will give us a letter of the alphabet. Mm -hmm. And we shall go through and pick somebody whose name starts with that letter of the alphabet for now. For Miss Clarity's 30 minute reading. How's that sound? That sounds good. That makes it pretty random there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Which one is that? So Can we start from the top. We've drawn the A room. So we're just going to go right up to the top here and have a look through. Oh, look at that! We got a lot of comments in there. I know it was a bit hard to keep up with everyone. So um, grateful for you all tuning in. As I said, if you want to connect uh, with me. Daily, you can do that through the Connecting with Clarity page. I said I do a copy oracle there, and um, there's quite a lot of interaction on that page. And you can also book for a reading on there as well. And otherwise, we'll be back next Sunday again at the same time. Okay, I'm trying to get up the top here to find somebody that we have, and this has got to be. Um, a coincidence here. Well, we need somebody whose name starts with an A, and the name that keeps coming up that starts with an A is Aura. A U R A. Now, I've already done a short reading for you tonight, Pearl. But you're the name that keeps coming up that resonates with this room, so uh, what do you say, Miss Clarity? That's fine. There we go. So um, Perla Aura. Okay, Perla, if you um, contact me through the Connecting with Clarity page, we can sort out the details of when that reading um, can happen and um, uh, when we can connect. And just get on the Facebook and uh, have a look for Connecting with Clarity. And as I said, we'll, I will let you know when the Coffee Oracle cards come out. Uh, we'll get back to you about this rose. and Or maybe another one. What I'll do is oh. each week I'll bring a different rose in and that way people can see all the different ones. So tune in next week if you want to see a different rose. Yep. And, um, yeah, they can have a bit of a choice of which one that they would like when they win. Yeah. So yeah. thanks again, Larry, for converting me to your style of roses. 
All right, we'll do one more before You're we go. You're ruining me now. <laughs> really, that, really enjoying this. I think Larry's ruined you in a lot of ways. <laughs> <laughs> Friends do that. Yeah. Tanya Dixon, we're going to do one more reading. Or we'll draw one more card before we go, because we were so late and disorganized. So this is for Tanya Dixon. And then we've gone from you, Tanya, is Thurzatch. Now, some people say that Thurzatch being the rune of Thor, or the rune that signifies the letters TH in the runic alphabet. Um, some people say it signifies faith. Others say it is a defensive rune. So, um, that's the thing I'd uh, like to probably stress with you is uh, whatever situation you're in at the moment, I do believe that you need to have faith both in yourself and in a positive outcome. Um. Because it's, and if it's, it means that you need to defend yourself in any way, shape or form, a teenage room is usually an aggressive type of defence. It's probably not the best message to give, but oh well. Good on you. <laughs> so the, there was nothing positive in that, really. That you well, there say. was, yeah. I what mean, did you say? Needs to have faith. Uh, there's things going on. Have faith in yourself because um, you can do it. You can handle it. Okay. Whatever it is that's going on for you at the moment. Well, the card that came out for your tenure was exploration. You see, it's a really beautiful card, but it is is someone standing on a um, you know, high up looking out at the horizon, and there's a compass northwest, east, south at the top of that as well. So, to me, that means you're kind of um, you're looking for a new direction right now, and you're standing there contemplating the future or contemplating what's out there, and um, you need to, but you've, you've brought up the Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's power, really. That is, it? yes, oh, yes. So, power to the journey, really. And you've yeah. got to remember that everything is a journey. It doesn't really matter in the long run what path you actually take. Some are easier, and some are harder, and some are more beautiful than others. But in the end, we all end up where we're meant to be. We all end up where we want to be. Where we need to be and it's about the journey and what we're learning along the way as i said it's not about the destination it's about the journey the trip enjoying the ride enjoy the ride uh, whatever decision you make or whatever you're looking at out there but um with that rune that you've just pulled out and i think that that means she can't really make any i think she said doing a lot she can't really make any mistakes with that. No, she just needs to have faith in herself and tell push forward. Faith in yourself, that's it. Because if you pick a path and then go, oh, I'm not sure that I should have picked that path, I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> then things are going to go, you know, a bit haywire. Speaking about things going to go, we're going to go till next week. So we'll be on at 8.30 um, our time next week, whatever time that is your time, I'm not sure. Um, we've got people here from all over the world, so... Yeah, we could be in the middle of the night for some of you. But we'll be here 8.30 to 9.30 our time next week. Uh, if you'd like to tune in and see if we can give you some insight. Yep. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. But as for now, I'm going to drag you out the back, Miss Clarity, and we're going to grab a torch and we're going to go and check on this little calf and uh, see if the mother and the calf can get them up into a safe paddock for the evening. We will, because you know we're confident, and we're not going to we're not going to um, try. We're going to do. Yes, that's right. I <laughs> didn't say hope. try. I said see if we can get it up there. Well, we're not going to hope. We're not going to try. We're not going to wish. No, well, we are just going to do. We're just going to do, and it looks like Perla has given her free reading to Tres Teresa. So, that is very kind of you, Perla. Very kind. Yep. Trez is having trouble with the car. Yeah. So that will be, yep. So 
I'll let you girls work that out, but you just need to contact me through the Connecting with Clarity page. Okay, so um, Perla, that is a very noble thing that you've done. Um, I'm sure Therese really, really appreciates what you've done. I have the utmost respect for you, for your generosity. So uh, thank you for that. <laughs> so Therese, okay. Teresa, if you would like to go to the Connecting with Clarity page on Facebook and send a message to Miss Clarity here beside me so we can organise uh, your free 30 minute reading. Thank you. And good night, folks. Good night, and thank you all for coming. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next week. And hopefully we can um, have some more mayhem then. And yeah. some visitors dropping in. What's going on with that? I have no idea. That's the second time in a row. But I might bring my ghost hunting equipment, or at least the the, EV, uh, the, um, the K2 meter next week, and we'll see if something happens on that. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, folks. Good night.